CBS2 investigates, gets results. The city of LA has begun weekly testing of Echo Park Lake after a CBS2 investigation found high levels of E. coli bacteria in the water. But tonight, an expert tells our David Goldstein the city's results do not make sense. And if you have a story idea for David, please come. As people are trying to stay cool on the swan boats at Echo Park Lake, sometimes getting doused under the fountain, a controversy is brewing based on our investigation into just how safe is the water quality. Are they within the state water quality standards? No, they are not. We collected water samples and sent them to a certified lab for testing for E. coli bacteria, which can be generated by human waste. We did it after the LAPD back in March removed hundreds of homeless from the park. We obtained this report showing bags of human waste retrieved from the lake. One of our bacteria samples came back seven times higher than the state water quality standard for E. coli in Echo Park Lake. Our investigation prompted the city for the very first time to start their own weekly bacterial testing. Their first test result, they claim, came back below the state standard for bacteria, with an estimated E. coli count of 3,500. Is 3,500 within the standard or not? No, of course not. <laughs> it's not. Renee Purdy is the executive officer for the Los Angeles Regional Water Quality Control Board, the state agency that sets the standards for Echo Park Lake. She says state standards for the lake are an estimated E. coli count of 320 or less. Remember, the city's test result was 3,500. That means the bacteria in the water is almost 11 times higher than the state standard for E. coli. They are concerning. I would certainly say I would definitely recommend um, public notification when levels are above the levels that we have determined to be safe for an activity like swimming. That's the key. Even though there's no swimming allowed in the lake, the state categorizes it as one where people come in contact with the water, as we've shown. And because of that, they think bacteria numbers should be low. The city believes the lake should be categorized as one where people don't come in contact with the water. So E. coli should be much higher. The city maintains the water is safe for boating, which is what they claim the lake is used for. They are planning on putting up signs warning people not to touch the water, and they say they're working on ways to limit exposure to the fountain. In Echo Park, I'm David Goldstein, CBS2 News. And if you have a story idea for David, call our CBS2 Investigates tip line at 818-655-2442 or just email us at cbs2investigates at cbs.com. And your story just might be David's next investigation.